It was pretty good rain in parts of the lower valley earlier today, then up into Raymondville area, just western Raymondville, then up through northern Hidalgo County. Things really quieting down since then, though. Not a whole lot left, but if you watch, you'll see it fires up right near Harlingen, then goes to the north, and you see the northeast Hidalgo County. The only left now, right up here. You see some stuff up in uh, southwestern Jim Hogg County, but that's about it. So where did rain fall today? Remember yesterday that swath was over here. Today it's over here. And with that, we got some pretty good stuff around Hargill, a little over an inch into the northeast of Lynn, a little over an inch. You can see eight tenths across most of western Willacy County, about seven tenths when you get to northeast Cameron or Hidalgo County. And then these are the totals we're seeing across Cameron County, just to the northeast of San Benito, about eight tenths of an inch between Harlingen and Rio Hondo, three tenths. But notice the airport got rain, but downtown didn't. West side got nothing. And then Santa Rosa picked up a little more than a half an inch of rain. So very spotty, but where it rained, it came down pretty good. Now tonight, all that has moved out, but we still have clouds around. See this stuff coming in from the west. We're going to talk more about that in a second. There's actually moisture on the far west coast of Mexico that's feeding in our direction. Tonight, though, I think we just see patchy clouds. They're there all night, and then tomorrow, partly sunny skies and isolated showers possible again, like today, mainly setting up on the sea breeze. Friday looking the same. Right now, some of the models are backing off even more on Friday and pushing the rain chances up on Saturday. And look at this. It shows a pretty good shot at rain on Saturday as a result of two or three things coming together. So we're going 30, 30, 50 for the next three days, and we're going to hold it 50 for Sunday as well. Temperature-wise, the normal now is 91, and we should be above that tomorrow and Friday, but with that increase in the rain chance, the temperature goes down on Saturday. Big picture, Texas doesn't show much in the state, but look to the west. Way over here, this is actually a tropical depression moving into Mexico that's going to spread a lot of moisture to the southwestern part of the country. But the tops of the clouds are being pushed all the way across Mexico and into the valley. So you get that thin veil of high clouds out there today coming from all the way over there. Well, tropical depression 19E feeds all that moisture up into the southwestern part of the country, some of it into the watershed. For us tomorrow, I think it's a day like today. Nothing really changes, and Friday not much changes either. But by Saturday, this moisture spreading eastward. There's a front that stalls to the north of us. We get a little bit of leftover moisture from Isaac down to the south, and that whole mess gives us a pretty good chance for showers and thunderstorms on both Saturday and again on Sunday. So that's what we're going to be watching for. In the meantime, the tropics, a new system to watch, a 10% chance of development. That's not a very good chance, but we're going to keep watching it the next several days to see what can happen with it. At the coast, here's what's going on. Winds are out of the southeast 10 to 15 knots, a moderate chop. UV, very high. High temperature at the beach, about 90 with a low risk of rip currents. There your tides, seas 1 to 2 feet. So tonight, 78 for a low, partly cloudy and warm. Any showers out there tonight? gone pretty quickly. Then tomorrow, spotty stuff again, about a 30% chance, 94 for your high temperature. We're back to 94 again on Friday. Then for Saturday, fall begins in the evening. Spotty showers and storms, especially late in the day into Sunday, about a 50% probability over the weekend, and then things tail off by the middle of next week. Long range models hinted maybe a front by the end of next week. We'll talk about that in the next half hour. That's your updated First 1-5 forecast.